I said I would film this ages ago and then I didn't. What a surprise. Um, this is my evening skincare routine. Evening skincare tends to be, for me, more complicated than my morning skincare. I'll put a link to my morning skincare <laughs> Uh, video below that I did a while ago um, because it all depends on what my skin's doing um, what makeup I've been wearing if I've been wearing SPF <coughs> what I'm doing the next day so many things um, so I tend to have a lot more that I use in the evenings um, so here are some of them films the morning skincare in March and already that's changed so it is ever changing. First I'm going to mention is um, coconut oil um, and I very kindly got sent this I think when I just I just had gym so 2015 um, and I, it sat around for ages because I just thought you could cook with it and I hate coconut, I hate it um, and then I thought actually you can take your makeup off with it um, so I started doing that and I, the reason I started doing it was that all my cleansers were irritating my face and someone said to me oh you should use coconut oil to remove your makeup um, and so I did and I hated the smell but it did not irritate my face at all in, in, in the days where every single cleanser that I tried from every single brand you know people tell you go to Clarins Clarins will never you know they've got really good that irritated my face everything irritated me stuff that I'd used for years this didn't and it got all my makeup off and it made my skin feel really smooth and clean and and not dry um, and I actually credit it a lot with the change between having a face that went red when I put anything on it at all um, to a face that now goes red sometimes but only for a few minutes and then it gets better um, I'm sure it's from just stopping using everything for a while and making sure that my skin was really clean with this. Um, it does sit in your pores, um, which isn't a problem for me because that doesn't give me breakouts and because I don't have huge uh, pores anyway. Um, and I always make sure that I very carefully remove it with a hot, warm flannel. Um, but if you have acne or spot prone skin or something then this probably isn't for you but if you have sensitive skin then I really adv advise it because um, it just gets gets all your makeup off in a way that I thought that other stuff was getting all my makeup off but then when I saw how much mascara was coming off with this Change my mind slightly. Now this is nine ninety nine, I think, for this size tub. In fact, no, this will be cheaper. It's nine ninety nine for a tub twice this size. This is two hundred eighty grams. Two hundred eighty grams lasts me ages. The next thing is this, which is this nude perfect cleanse, nourishing cleansing oil, which um my sister got me for Christmas at my request because I hadn't tried anything from nude before, and I'd heard some great things, and so I went in space and came was like what should I try? I've never tried an oil um, cleanser. Um, so they recommended this. Now this I would describe definitely as a second cleanse. It does not, to my mind, get all your makeup off. Um, so for example, if I've used my coconut oil um, and rinsed it off, I will then use this. Or on days when I've not worn any makeup, I love to use this. There's something in it I don't like the smell of could be almond um, but it does make my skin feel nice yeah it's sort of it's just nice to use which sounds a bit wishy-washy but it is um, this is 28 pounds um, so if you don't wear any makeup or much makeup um, and you want a nice sort of oily cleanser then this is it, it doesn't feel that oily it just is an oil, but it's not like you put it on and it's like an oil slick on your face. This, it lives in my wash bag. This is the Lush Ultra Bland Cleanser. I can't remember if it's in my morning skincare routine, but it could be. The reason it's in my wash bag is that it is ultra bland and therefore suitable for morning 
and evening and it's an ice cream and it's I've got a small pot of it because I didn't want to buy the big pot another great thing about them they do small pots they do medium pots they do big pots so you don't commit to buying a huge pot of something maybe it doesn't work for you but this is really good this is I would say for people who want ethical basic beauty it does remove makeup it's not exciting to use um, and some people don't need exciting I like exciting on my face sometimes I like bland I like skincare who am I kidding I've got a ton of it but next is the Caroline Hyrons and Pixie Ooh, can you see double cleanse um, which I have been using since February um, and I've just written a review of and uh, this one I keep going back to over and over and over again when I have like today got a full face of makeup on um, this is what I want I get into my bath and I do the first side which is a sort of um, solid cleansing oil a bit like the coconut oil but obviously it's not coconut oil um, but it's a solid cleansing oil and remove all my makeup and then I put on the cleansing cream which I don't like a cleansing cream I use another one as well and this one is perfectly fine but I'm just a balm fan so even though I don't like using a cleansing cream I still really love this and I think I will buy as soon as it runs out um, it, and it's £24 so you get two types of cleanser um, for £24 which is incredibly reasonable especially when you look at this which doesn't I think get all your makeup off and that's £28 again the reason I like this is it's very basic um, there's nothing fancy and it. it's fragrance free and I know a lot of I've seen a lot of reviews that were like they were expecting more from it but what I, I think is so great about it is that it's very basic anyone could use this anyone could use this and it cleans your skin which is what you want from a cleanser let's be fair Old Faithful Emma Hardy uh, Amazing Face Cleansing Balm I think if I went on Desert Island Discs and I had to take something with me um, it would be <laughs> this and some of her face cloths because I love them uh, but this just removes makeup feels great on your skin suits everyone I use it on every single face that I do makeup on and every time or if I've been doing a model I'll take her makeup off with this and everyone is like what is that that's amazing and that is about 32 pounds but a tub of that will last you a long time then on to toning if I am going to tone I either use the Darfan Introl toner with chamomile because it's very soothing um it's kind of anti-redness so I feel like if I've really put my skin through it um it'll tone it down but it is just very calming so after I've really work my skin with a cleanser I quite like to have a soothing toner um, this one is £28 um, and the, or I use the Origins Mega Mushroom Skin Relief which again is soothing and is £24 um, and this sometimes can make my skin a little bit red but not in a bad way more in a kind of it's doing a few things um, way Sometimes in the evening I like to give myself a face massage and if I'm going to give myself a face massage I will use this which is the Amelia Moss Rosehip Oil. So Rosehip Oil is great for sort of scars, um, damaged skin, it m sort of makes your complexion better but also I just find um, it just works very well if you're going to be pummeling your skin a lot but this is £20 and a little goes a long way. You know, I've been using this for months and it's down to there. Um, so it's very good. Also, you can use it all over your body. So if you have stretch marks, it's good for stretch marks. And all of that. Another thing that I've been using recently, um, which I stopped using for a while because I had breakouts. I think I know what the breakouts were from. So I just had to stop using all the new stuff. And then I've been adding new stuff in to the routine. And something that I've been adding in recently is this which is the 10% lactic acid from the ordinary now because they do this in a 5% and a 10% and because I um, like that I went straight in for the 10% because of that I have been working it in with a moisturizer so I put my moisturizer in my palm put the lactic a drop of lactic acid in and work it all over the skin and I have been reusing this 
So I started using it, stopped for about three weeks, started again literally five days ago and I can see a difference in my skin. So I'm really loving this and the fact that this is £5.80 and the idea behind The Ordinary is that they give you lactic acid, you're not getting fragrance, you're not getting anything fancy. And the night cream I'm mixing it with is the Aurelia Probiotic Skin Care Cell Revitalised Night Moisturiser. Um, which is still, I mean the thought of buying this makes me feel a bit ill because it was £52 and £52 on something to go on my face when I have two kids makes me feel incredibly guilty but I use a tiny tiny little bit as little as possible um, and now I'm mixing it with the lactic acid I need to use even less um, and the reason I bought this was that I got a tester of it when my skin was really sensitive it just made my skin look very glowy and nice and I could see a difference and I quite often with skincare can't see a difference um, so I really liked that um, but again it's expensive 52 quid so get a sample and try it out before you buy it then I'm not using the Aurelia if I need real hits of moisture or if my skin has reacted to something I go to Old Faithful if you buy one moisturiser, I mean, this would be with Emma Hardy in my, do I need... If I was a sensible person who wasn't obsessed with skincare and beauty and didn't have to buy a metric tonne of products every year, this would be my moisturiser because it's so nice for my skin. It's so moisturising, soothing, it doesn't do anything horrible. Um, it's my go-to one and I use it morning and evening when I need it. Um, and it's a tub of this is 30 quid and I use it as sparingly as possible. I got very kindly sent this to try again when I was complaining about my skin because of Jim. I feel mean saying that but I mean it is his fault. Uh, this is a purifying facial mask from Tukin. Um, this has got red clay in it. Let's have a look. I got sent this to try. I used it once. It made my face red. I got angry and put it in a box which is what happened to like 95% of skincare that I tried that year. Um, and then recently I dug it out again and I thought, oh God, I'm, I'm going to give it a go. Um, because everyone's into masks at the moment and I've never really been that into masks. I don't find they make that much difference to my face. This does. I use this on a Sunday. I cleanse. I then put this all over my face, run my bath, nap about for 15 minutes and then wash it off. And I find that it just makes my face feel nice and smooth, not tight, um, but it's purifying and I feel like it is, I just feel like it, my skin never, the, you know, when I've had the breakout here, it's never aggravated it, it's always, imp it's always made it look a bit better and there's nothing there to draw out, so it's not like it's drawn anything out of a spot, but it just, my skin feels genuinely better. And it doesn't feel irritated, it feels really nice. And for someone who has quite sensitive skin, I'm quite wary of putting anything on it for 15 minutes. It's quite a long time. This is great. So if you are, again, it's a really ethical company as well. So if you are someone who maybe has sensitive skin or just have trouble with masks, this is a really nice place to start. Last two things I want to mention, because PM skincare doesn't just mean my face, is that I moisturize pretty much every day, arms, legs, chesty bit, um, with this. And this is about five pounds, Norwegian formula, deep moisture body lotion for dry skin. Can't be beaten, I literally cannot be beaten. Why buy anything else? And on the bump, little Mabel the bump, has been getting Mamma Mio, the tummy rub oil, which I got sent to try, because it, and it's 27 pounds, but, I've been really liking it. I haven't got any more um, uh, stretch marks yet. I'm only 30 weeks pregnant, so it could happen. But the thing is, it smells really nice and it absorbs really easily while still being moisturising. Um, so it's not like you feel greasy afterwards. But it has a sort of citrusy smell, which I really like. Um, so we'll just see if I get any more... Um, Stretch marks. I used rosehip oil last time and I did get some. 
but then again it could be that whatever I used I got stretch marks I'm always really wary about reviewing stretch mark stuff because it could be that you just get stretch marks nothing's going to help or it could be that what you're doing has stopped you getting stretch marks. Who is to know? And that's it. That's my PM skincare. Sorry, it's been quite long, but there's quite a few products to cram in. Um, let me know what you're using, if you have any recommendations, any thoughts on any of the products I mentioned. Um, and I will see you next time.